Hey GTI fans, welcome back to another episode of Imperial Galactic Survival. This is your host Zelot, and this is the Shadows of Starlight series, episode um um wow. Episode 14 maybe? Maybe it was 13. <coughs> hmm. Anyway, one of those. <laughs> Uh, so we are on Velda's moon, um, and if you watched last episode, you heard me rant on about how pissed I was about how stupid the scenario was, and blah, 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 blah. They shouldn't have, yeah, so I'm over that. At least I was able to continue on by just coming to the Velda's moon, and it, and the, uh, um, missions updated as soon as I got to the moon so that was thank god the whole series wasn't destroyed because of that but uh, uh, I did lose all my stuff um, that I had on me but of course I have a CV that I was had my home marked to which was parked on Velda's so when I died I just went back there so you can see we're looking at the bottom of my HV. We took it out mining. Oh, geez, I really dug a hole directly underneath it, didn't I? Oh, it's a good thing I haven't fallen down into it. We went out mining Promethium because I realized that I had hardly any Promethium left, like half a stack or something. So we came down, and this was, you can see, there's 1% left of, it was a big, big, deposit of Prometheum and I hand mined it with uh, with the T2 drill I made and so far here's <laughs> the stack so I don't think I'm going to need any more for a while uh, and now I'm just I'm just for completionist sake I'm going to finish this off <laughs> well I mean I might as well right although a meteorite fell I'm why did a meteorite fall? Meteorite depreece and none. Uh. Uh. Okay. <clears throat> um. I swear to God, I got that message saying that a meteorite fell. Look out for. Look out for it. It may have new resources. Or more resources. Something like that. Anyway, whatever. It's just teasing me then. That's all it's doing. So we'll just uh, we'll just finish off this Promethium node. Okay, is that it then? No, it's still showing that there's a node. Oh, there's a chunk down here. Okay. So I had to make myself another ore scanner too, because, you know, I was carrying that on me. Because you need an ore scanner when you're doing POIs. Now, I took a whole bunch of stuff with me because I thought I was teleporting somewhere where I would get screwed if I didn't have a bunch of stuff on me. And it could have been the case. It could have been that case, but... Um, it could have been that I made it here successfully without having to take my CV here. And if that was the case, then yeah, all that stuff I had on me would have been awesome. Now, I went out scouting and you will see over here, I have marked where I found the smuggler shuttle. So it is the crashed shuttle supposedly that I would have taken and crash landed here with. I landed the CV next to it and I came out hunting with the HV for Prometheum. So we're gonna head back there. So let's do that. So that was a pretty tidy sum of Prometheum. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, well not quite. Fill those up, so eight and a half stacks. Wow. So literally, uh, you know, 8,500. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Let's go. 
Let's raise up here a bit. And kind of funny that there's a whole bunch of critters that live on the moon. <clears throat> I mean, not that it matters to me so much. I have this open box top style design on my on my vehicles that, that allows me to break line of sight while still mine, hand mine with my drone. And still be in um, in environmentally protected uh, conditions. So <clears throat> it's just easier. Heck, I can, I can even go into space and mine with the T2 drill without an EVA boost using my box top design. There's a little trick that you gotta do. Once you get to where you wanna mine, you gotta level out and turn your jetpack off so that you don't move anywhere. Because if you float out of your cockpit, you die. <laughs> but uh, other than that, yeah, I can totally, I can totally mine without <laughs> Neva boost. Uh, so lots of pentaxid on the moon here, which is great because if I'm if I'm gonna ha if I have to, I can come by and just get a ton. <clears throat> but I do have close to 200 refined pentaxid still on the CV, so uh, it's not as big of it's not it's not needed right now. So I'm not going to spend a lot of time. So there's the CV parked beside the crashed shuttle. So I haven't gone out and looked at the shuttle at all yet. I just parked beside it and took the HV out to get Promethium. So we'll just... Ooh, it's dark. Turn some lights on. So here it is, the crash shuttle. There's a bunch of debris around it. Um, oh, that's funny. It looks like the ventilator's running on it. Okay. So is that a base with a bunch of CV parts then? I wonder if that's what it is. <coughs> Well, it looks like there's still an interior to it. Uh, might be able to seal it off with just one block, right? A door or something. But I, not that we actually need it with this thing beside us. So let's just park and we'll go check it out. Although, you know what? Because, see, there's that hatch. So, I mean, basically, that's what I was supposed to do. I was supposed to fly to that hatch and get in. Well, I was being shot by drones, so I hid, and they blew out the frickin' teleport pad. Oh, nice. We have meteor showers on the moon. That's pretty cool. <clears throat> um, so, having said that, <laughs> I'm gonna... I'm gonna just drone it up from my HV right now. Oh, come on. And we'll... Yeah, there's almost... There's like 0.3... There's like 30% gravity on this moon, too. So you, so when you jump, you jump really high and far. Okay. Can I get in this way? Yep. Okay, so that is technically sealed. Yeah, I know it doesn't look like it, but I think it is. I think... Is that airtight? I don't know. Does it say? I'm not sure if destroy blocks are airtight. Anyway, let's go in here. So it's got. It's got this big opening here. I don't see. Yeah, I don't see anything using this block at all. So that's just straight open. Well, it sounds like it's got a generator. 
Yeah, right there. And it's running. Really? Can we look in? Oh yeah, see? we So we can look in here. It's got 46 minutes left. Hmm. I wonder if I should put some more in. Let's do one for now. <clears throat> okay, so I am supposed to gather the emergency gear. Gather the emergency gear. Gather. Oh, there's a, a chest there. Okay. So. Okay, let's. Let's park this thing properly then. And we'll get out. check this out so it's a minus 178 out I do have my Eva on me so we should be fine so I am gonna equip my weapon though put my booster on and you can see how high you jump in this gravity <clears throat> you can almost fly with your jackpack <laughs> Okay, personal cargo box, and your suit suddenly registers weak. Sathioid waves again. Something on this move of build must be emitting these radioactive waves. It might be worth checking out since the officer you just killed had a similar radiation level. Maybe this is linked to the asteroid buster cannon as well. Okay, um, small vessel starter. Emergency L2, nice. Survival constructor, multi tool, multi tool charge drill. O2 bullet. So it gave you the basic starter stuff. So, and a multi tool. Ah, I know what it wants you to do. I'm willing to bet some of this stuff. So, oh, actually, let's see. Let's make sure. See, it's public. I want to switch that to private <clears throat> so that when I take this block, I get the whole block. Thruster S. CV. Yeah, it's a CV block, though. Huh. So... There's actual air in there, so it's actually using that. It's using that. <laughs> so I guess what you're supposed to, what they expect you to do then. Is. Dismantle this thing and turn it into an SV. With the survival constructor. Is that even, would that even be possible? <clears throat> I'm going to take a, I'm just going to throw this down really quick. And see what you can actually make with it. Because I, I'm, I'm just curious to see what small vessel parts you can make with it. Uh, you can't make thrusters. You can make hover vehicle thrusters. So, okay. Follow the signal. Follow the signal. Weapon Research Center. Oh, okay. Hey! That was awfully close. I wonder if they hurt if they hit you. Looks like it probably would. Um, okay, well. You know, I don't really think I need that. 
I'm just going to go put this back in my CV so I don't lose it. Do the derp. Okay. So let's put this here. I guess we could get that going, but what I really need to do is get that in here. And I don't think I have any hydrogen, do I? Did I? Yeah, I used it all. Okay. That's fine. Uh, got lots of small promethium. Hmm. Let's um. Let's make a hundred of those. That'll or queue up a hundred. That'll make two hundred of them. take some of this over to the other one. <clears throat> okay, so I guess we'll throw that in there too. I don't need that. Got lots of drills. So isn't that interesting? So follow the signal, defeat the security system, search for asteroid buster release related data. Let's take a look. Your suit has registered weeks at Sathioid waves on the moon of Valdez. Something, okay. The source must be inside the Xerox building here. Follow the mark signal and investigate it. The phase emitter. Chapter 7, the phase emitter. That's what it gets to. Okay. So the Sathioid waves, follow the signal. Let's get sort of the, the facility is well guarded. Let no one stop you from reaching your goal. Search for asteroid buster related data. Find a console or notes which can help you on your mission to destroy the asteroid buster. Okay, so that's the facility that I have to go bust. Okay. Is that a turret? There's a turret there. Uh, one turret? Yeah. Okay. Now, am I going to need to, like, make a farm soon? What's my food situation here? should be okay for now. I oh, should be okay. Okay, so I don't need that because I've already got <laughs> an SV. So we'll just... Uh, da -da -da -da. At least I got... Just put that in there. Let's see me. At least I got uh, O2 and Survival Constructor back. That's actually really good. <clears throat> so those can go into tools. Okay. You can throw that in there too, along with my other bajillion multi tools. So now I got two Survival Constructors and one O2 again. That's good. That's good. Uh, okay, let's CV, fuel, oxygen. Fuel, and oxygen, and that can go in the food processor. Okay, and a CV block. Okay. 
So I've got nine growing plots. I wonder if I should just seal up the base beside me really quick and turn it into a little grow op. It's not that bad of an idea, is it? It's not that bad of an idea. This CV can protect it with its turrets. Speaking of, let's make sure that this is all powered up. And let's do a fill all, fill all, fill all. <laughs> 8,500 bullets. Okay, good. Good. Yep, we're fine. Okay. Um, hmm. It's not a bad idea just to quickly convert that to a. Just a grow up. Let's do that. Let's. Okay. So, what did I have for blocks here? I have. Two grow lights. And nine growing plots. We've got a whole bunch of combat steel blocks, a whole bunch of concrete ones, and hardened steel. We've got some wood too. We could probably use that. Uh, what else can we put in there? A furnace. Are we going to use it for smelting? Are we going to be smelting here a lot? I don't know. I don't know. Probably not. Gravity gen, no. Okay. Uh, tech equipment. Well, we could do a, a shower or something, I guess. Oh, that's that. Shower, toilet and shower. Uh, we've got that on the on here. We don't need that. We just need a grow up. So we've got growing plots, a couple of lights. So I'm going to need to make more growing plots. More steel growing plots. So what is required? Let's take a look. <clears throat> growing plot wood, growing plot steel. Four plant fibers, steel plate, nutrient solution, calc, cobalt alloy. So nutrient solution, got a couple. So I need seven more nutrient solutions. So let's go into the food processor and make seven more nutrient solutions. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we'll go get started on this. So it's going to need need a new door I could pot I could turn all that in the ceiling I'm probably gonna have to peel out the bottom of it to put these blocks in I should probably just dismantle the whole freaking thing and start from scratch right right yeah let's do that let's just go dismantle it Okay. Okay. So we'll dismantle most of it anyway. All this crap. So what do we want? We've got here, what I'll do is I'm just gonna jump into my into here. Come on. Fine. Jump out of there for a second. Uh, what I want to do is actually deconstruct and just get the steel plates back. I don't want the uh, destroyed block. Hmm. Wasn't giving me anything. up. 
always destroy blocks. It's not airtight right now anyway. Oh, there's the core. Uh, I'm going to have to do something completely different with the roof. Because that is going to be too high. Or too low, I should say. Yeah. So let's... Actually, with these, with the proper blocks, I'll just take... Oh, I just destroyed an armored door. Damn. It's okay. Medic station. That's oh, always handy to have a second one. When I actually build a permanent base somewhere, maybe, if I need to. Uh, yeah, sorry, you've got to get dismounted. That's just stupid place for you. Teleporter. Disable the teleporter? Hmm. I'm not sure about that. I might need that teleporter. I don't think I should destroy it. What I should do, though, is get rid of this ugly crap. Okay. So... That's a crappy place for the fuel, too. This just has to get all redone. All redone. This is no good. thrusters. I'll just take the take the bits. Get rid of these broken ones. I guess I could get rid of the personal cargo box now that it's given me um my allotment of stuff. Whoops. Okay, so this over here. Whoops. Ah, just wrecking the place. Oh wait, I did not want I want to deconstruct these. Okay, those aren't broken blocks, those are regular blocks. Okay, so I'll just pick those up. These are airtight, right? Yes. Okay, so... Eh. Do I...
just trying to think of a way to incorporate the teleporter into the farm farming plot design. It's three wide, is it? And the core is in a crappy spot too. Hmm. Let's get rid of this. So we'll take the fuel back out of it. Oh, player spawner. That's interesting. <laughs> okay. Uh, disassemble, because I'm going to need that again. <coughs> well, <coughs> now I don't know if I want to move the core, because it might destroy the property of that teleporter. I don't know. Hmm. Let's um, pick this up, too. That's ridiculous. And there's not enough oxygen in it to actually take, so I'll just grab it. And since I've already grabbed the stuff out of the cargo box, we'll grab that. Okay. <coughs> so, maybe what I should do. <coughs> Is incorporate this into the garden so if I okay so let's do a center strip right here we don't need that we can just do we can do wood no actually I don't want to use up my wood we'll just do concrete that's fine Okay, so there and there, <clears throat> and then we're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and then one, two, three, and then a outside row. So that can come down like that. And then let's come in. Come on. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Okay. So, you know what? I want, let's do this. One, two. Three. Let me get to the other side here. That's two and three. 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 Okay. And then... Oh. Okay, so now let's use... Regular steel. No, you know what? We'll do combat steel on the bottom since it's heavier. We'll do that for the walls. Why not? I've 
got enough of it. We'll just dismantle it later. Can I go? No, I missed. Okay. Oops. I did not mean to drop that. Okay, so... Okay. Now, is this going to clip into it? Yes, it will. Yep. Okay. So, you got to be careful when clipping into vehicles. You can actually cause them to be flung for like to like the other side of the planet or out into space. Literally, I've had that happen. So, to avoid that, we'll just get out here. And realistically, I can just stand from the back of the CV and oh, let's, you know, let's squeeze in through a spot that I can't ever possibly fit through because that makes sense. a little bit more. And throw the engines on. Here we go. So let me alt so that I can actually take a look. And then, so what I want to do is I want to pivot with the rear facing <clears throat> with the rear facing it, okay. So let's pivot right around. That's pretty good. And then we'll just back up a little bit. Not enough to actually clip again. Oh, actually that's too much. Then I'm just... So let's... Oh! It almost fired rain on me. Okay, we'll just move over to the side a little bit so that we can get out with the HV if we need to. Okay. Let's turn the engines off again. Get out. I can actually just stand in the back of this. I don't really need to um, be in the hover vehicle. Okay. So. Let's get this walls up. Come on. What's going on? Why is... There we go. That was weird. No, it's not going to. Why is it not going to? Come on. Okay. Oops. Was that too far? Nope. And another wall. Is that going to... Hmm. Well, that's interesting. Is that on the ground there? I guess. Come on, one more, thank you. Okay, and then, like I say, this was just gonna be, this is just a farm. Literally, that's all this is gonna be. So we'll just, This is just going to be a, a quick and dirty farm. Okay. Uh, I guess it needs a door. <laughs> okay, let's 
do a door over here on the opposite side of the teleport pad. Okay, and <clears throat> just do a ramp. Okay. Uh, so I got to build a door. Got to build a door. So. I don't think it needs to be a combat door. Just a regular door. Now, do I have any... Oh, let's this stuff. Now I need that. Need that. That's blocks I don't need. I don't need those. I'm not going to need that. Cargo. Meh. What it will need is... The fridge and a food processor. Still got the vent put in. Okay, so I, I can do all that up on the roof. Okay. Do I have any lights? Do I have any lights? Another fuel tank there too. Oh, <laughs> got six really nice ones. Oh right, I do have a furnace. I could just stick that on the outside. I got lots of good stuff. Got stairs too. Yeah. Okay. Don't need it. Um, not gonna need the cargo either. O2 station, maybe. That's not a bad idea. Okay, windows. We need that. Let's put this here. Oh. Destroyed CVBA. CVBA. Oh. What? So this can be used for all four types of vehicles. Or all four types of things. These can only be used for, huh, that's weird, okay. Okay, let's make some lights. Uh, we'll just need a few, we don't need a lot. Okay. Okay, so let's get the door in. Okay. <coughs> now this is not sealed yet, because, oh, right. Okay, so what I'm going to have to do is I'm, I'm going to have to... Hmm. How am I going to do this? How am I going to do this if I... I know. I know what I'll do. I know what I'll do. Let's do one of these. We're going to flip it. And no, I don't want to I don't want that block. I want Yeah. 
So we're going to go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, good enough. One, two, three. One, two, three, and four. We got to do this on each of these blocks. Now, what I'm actually doing is I'm technically, oh, I'm going to have to get rid of that, I'll see. I'm technically making the block that it occupies airtight. Okay. Let's get rid of that. So, let's put the nine in here. Now you can see I can actually, I can install these under the rails. See that? But I don't want to, I'm going to ins install these here. Okay. Okay, so we've got those nine in. What we need to do now is get the gear up on the roof. Yeah, it should be fine on the roof. <clears throat> um, got to poke a hole in the roof. Gonna put some oxygen. Uh, okay. We're gonna need the ventilator poked through. Okay. So, where should I do the ventilator? Hmm. You know what? I'm just going to do it on the inside in one of these corners. That's fine. Okay. And then the the fridge and food processor. Come on. Go back in there. Um do the food processor right beside the, right there. We'll do the fridge above it. Right there. We'll do the O2 station right there. Okay. And then we'll put the rest of the stuff up on the roof here. So the generator, it can just be, doesn't really matter. Sure, right in the dead center, why not? Uh, oxygen tank could be there, doesn't matter. Um, fuel tanks and this time I can put some fuel in without it getting depleted okay 
So, the base is up and running again. We'll put, um, is this going to be enough to fill it? Is this going to be enough to fill the base? Let's see. So, uh, let's put a light right there, and another one do another one right there, and then the other one right there. Okay. Now we've got to put grow lights in. So a grow light has to be, it can only reach two squares uh, down. So two squares away from it, from its face. So that's how far the light reaches. And it also touches any adjacent square. So if we put it right here, on the ceiling to line up with this one it'll light up with all nine if we put it here it would only light up this one and the two and the three adjacent squares so we want this row and so that's one two in that should be the center Yep. Okay, good. So, is this space inside now? Let's let's go see. This space is sealed. See? Even though that the floor is all open, it's because of these beams I put across. Let's seal it off. So, so now I can actually grow, grow my garden in here and still put the plots in as I make them. And then after I put a plot in, I can remove the corresponding um, bar above the plot and, and put plants in. So that's, that's how we're going to do this. Okay, so I didn't make enough lights. And it's an odd number, too. What the hell did I do? Really? Did I actually do that? You gotta be kidding me. Wow, I completely built this thing like a... Like an idiot. Okay. Uh... <laughs> crap. Eh, it doesn't matter. I'll just have not as many grow plots. I don't need this many. I don't need this many. That's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's all good. It's all good. It's fine. Let's put that one there. Okay. We can make two other lights later. So, I guess I should have... Did I actually put enough O2 in? Needed to fill, currently in tanks, yes. So we can turn the oxygen on. Do a fill all here. Fill. Okay, it's got 26 hours currently. And we have oxygenation, right? Right? We are good okay okay good let's go get the sprouts in so nine plots I really only need six of the fiber so I need two more okay we got to give those two. So let's make another fiber. 
and then we can take these with us and put those in the constructor too so we'll do that <coughs> And, heck, we can even make a couple more steel growing plots. Okay. Install those and the food processor. No, and the uh, fiber, sorry. Okay. Okay. So I need fiber and I need aloe. That's going to be six and six, and then I need one, two, three, and then, and then the rest is going to be durnian, pumpkin, and tomato for canned vegetables, because I don't have enough meat. I mean, I guess I could fly back to Veldas, and technically that's where I should be building a base like this. I just don't feel like it. <laughs> this was easy enough to throw up really quick. It's not that big of a deal. Okay, uh, let's plant these sprouts. Come on, I don't want... Oh, I just want those ones. Thank you. Oh yeah, it won't do the one you're standing on. Okay. There we go. So we'll let those, uh, we'll let those grow. Well, guys, I think we're going to call this an episode here. Um, if you like this episode, give me a like. If you want to see um, when the next episode is posted, subscribe and you'll get notified. Uh, other than that, I hope you guys have an awesome, awesome day. <laughs>